welcome back to my channel illustrator i am tool and uh, today we are doing the ppc it is the october ppc and it is pumpkins and you may have been able to notice and see that on um, my twitter and my instagram i have just finished mine and i'll be editing that just in a second so that's really exciting i'm actually filming this part before i edit because i don't know i'm doing it all in a different order today it's been very much a lot of tea day so it's, it's been quite the hyperactive kind of day so with the first couple of petal people challenge illustrations i have always gone for quite uh, a feminine theme they've all been girls so far and there is nothing wrong with that but i didn't want to fill the whole of my ppc with ladies Hello, there's so much more you can do. There are men, there are beasts, there are just strange creations you can make come to life. So I was like, yes. I really loved last month's PPC. I really enjoyed doing Hummingbird Mint and it was getting me very much in the mood to continue the branching away from my comfort zone kind of thing. So that is what I did this time, as you can see. I sketched off screen because I've been running around like a headless chicken the last couple of weeks, lots of stuff on. Uh, I had to take my sketchbook and just use my time wisely. So while I was waiting for something else to happen, I was sketching out my ideas for the PPC. But that's what I did. And this time, I took the advantage of the fact it's October, we're moving into the whole Halloween theme, and I thought this is the perfect time to make a thing. Eventually I'm gonna have to draw a man. Really crap at drawing men, unless they're really stylized or little old men. I can draw little old men, no problem. But an actual man-man, and make him look like muscly and toned, oh, I am crap Like, I need help. <laughs> I need to go and attend someone else's art course so that I can learn how to draw men. I can draw ladies, no problem. But yes. So I took this opportunity to draw a beast of sort of beastish proportions. So the idea of how I got to this idea was obviously when it comes to like pumpkin carving kind of stuff, you have the head and it's all very much like a scary face or a happy face or a crying face or something carved into a pumpkin. And so I thought, okay, well, let's make it a face. And then I just sort of wasn't gonna draw it the way I did if I'm completely honest. I started out with like the neck starting underneath the head and I was like why am I doing this? The stem doesn't come from underneath. I mean I know this is a complete made up thing from like my mind so anything could have happened so instead I made it come from the top up out and around and because it's got a big head I made it kind of droop a bit and I was trying to play a little bit with angles and I thought okay so we've got this very happy dopey kind of face in the front and it's a bit like silly a little bit of fun right so I was like okay well he's gonna have to have like an evil twin or a little bit of a sour buffers of a twin on the other side and he's a bit like kind of thing that's a really bad uh, explanation but that was me trying to verbalize what was in my head and obviously you guys can see that on the page right now so color wise I ended up choosing from the color palettes that you usually get with pumpkins which I was describing earlier where you have oranges and greens and yellows and things and it's sort of like muted maybe slightly dirty colors perhaps and that is what I did but I was choosing them not from swatches, which I would advise doing, <laughs> but if you're trying to like push your colour knowledge boundaries, it's quite fun to look at your Copic chart or your test chart or whatever and go, right, I'm going to use this, this and this for that, and then I'm going to use that, that and that for this. And then that is how I'm learning to evolve my own knowledge in the colour picking process. I bought this hex chart online from Sandy or Knock. <laughs> The name is right there and I've been slowly filling it and I've got to a point where I'm not massively needing too many more colours to feel like I can achieve what I want to because you can mix them, just it's easier not to if that makes sense, but then it's more expensive not to, so I'll 
that's sort of why I've been colour picking myself and then layering depending what hue I'm trying to give it to try and make myself learn it faster. Does that make sense? I've sort of pushed myself into a deep end so I'm trying to save my wallet. That makes sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, for our three choices this next time for November, I've decided to go and widen the catchment. So, we have an oak tree. And the reason I've chosen an oak tree is because it's that time of year where the leaves are disappearing, they're going brown, and it might be quite interesting to see where that goes. So that's an option, oak tree. Option two, I'm going to keep this really broad and let you choose an evergreen plant. And the reason why I'm calling it an evergreen, and you can choose what you like, is because there is a huge amount of them available. So I will probably, if that one's chosen, just go on Google and just be like, evergreens, and then just have a look. Not the tree, a bush, like a shrubbery, a shrubbery of some kind that is evergreen. I think that's quite a nice idea and it has lots of scope for play which is quite fun and that is the whole point i want to keep this fun and light and just like does that make sense okay number three a hawthorn bush and the reason why i've said hawthorn bush is because we have one at the bottom of the garden on the other side of the fence and it's got some amazing looking red berries on it obviously do not eat them they are not for eating but they look interesting and their colour vibrancy is really bright, really very much in your face. So we have the oak tree, the evergreen shrubbery bush, you can choose, and we have a hawthorn bush. So those are our three types of plant that we can play with this time. So I will leave that ball in your court. I will be checking back within seven days to see which of the three is the winner and I will make the announcement on both Twitter and on Instagram. So the November deadline for the PPC for the choice above which I will also put out the deadline again when I come to announce the winner of the three. The deadline for your guys artwork to reach me is the 29th of October okay so to enter via Twitter you need to comment on my announcement of the winner of this month if that makes sense if you're not going to do it that way don't forget to hashtag the appropriate hashtag and I will be leaving that in the section below here and in the description box below just to make sure that you have the right hashtag so I can find you easily because it's turned out there are lots of PPCs so I've had to be quite specific with the hashtag now and that's turning out to be much better to find your guys artwork and then on Instagram you all you need to do is post your picture and also then hashtag again the same hashtag that will be below and in the description box as well and what I do with those is I take a screenshot when I get them and I save them and put them into the end of each of these videos as a show reel and I just want to like announce your guys' hard work. Your guys' artwork is absolutely amazing. Some of your concepts like I particularly like the coffee shop one because I'm a bit of a coffee shop lover. I'm not even like the biggest coffee fan, I'm a tea fan, but I just love going to coffee shops because they tend to have really like funky coffee shop jazz. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell to stay in the loop. Until next time guys, bye! Side note guys, thank you so much for everybody who has taken part. You guys have absolutely blown my hair in the curls with how awesome you guys have been with your artwork. Please proceed to the show.
Okay, I've, I've talked enough now. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.